past, we've seen the success of a football program be priority number one at a lot of big schools. With that in mind, are you surprised that our Bryles was fired today? I'm surprised it took this long um, because we've been hearing these allegations for a long time. And not only alleg allegations, convictions. Um, you know, there was a player that came from Boise State who was charged with a sexual assault while he was at Boise State. Other schools, in, in, including Florida, which told us back in the fall that they would not take him. He was taken by Baylor, and then he got in trouble for uh, and was convicted of another sexual assault. So this has been a long, ongoing problem here at Baylor. Baylor, the administration, Art Bryles, the Board of Regents, they've known about this for a long time and have not taken action. And it's not only brewed over the surface, it's exploded. And it got to the point where it was so egregious, they had no choice but to fire him. They should have done it six months ago. Yeah. Will this represent perhaps a turning point where reports of sexual assaults by athletes will be dealt with differently by universities? Sadly, I think no. I mean, we hear, we, it seems like, Maggie, you and I have this conversation all the time for the last two, three, five years. We see this all the time in sports. And when people uh, in positions of authority, this is, this is not professional sports, this is higher education. What message is that sending? We have Title IX, we have all these federal laws in place to protect women, to force universities to take action. Um, when you, we have these disgusting, not only allegations, but, you know, convictions here. Um, and it hasn't changed. Sports is, there's so much pressure to win. There's so much money involved with sports that guys like Art Bryles, and I don't know him personally, I'm sure he's got values and, and um, you know, he, he, he was the head coach of a Christian university, which, you know, had a, a religious base. Um, and for whatever reason, sports gets people's priorities out of whack when there's all this pressure to win, there's millions of dollars at stake. We need to put that aside and we need to consider the human element and what's right, what's moral, what's just. That was all lost here. Art Bryles, respected in the football community. He is beloved by those who attend Baylor and their alumni base. Is he ever going to coach again? He's 60 years old. Um, this is the ultimate stain on somebody's reputation. Um, we saw what happened at Baylor with their basketball coach, Dave Bliss, yeah. where there was a murder involved. He's never, uh, well, actually, he has coached, but never at this highest level. You would think not. Uh, knowing sports today, he might get another opportunity. I mean, Art Bryles was not only beloved, he was such a great success story. He came up the right way. He was a longtime Texas high school coach. We know how provincial Texas is with their football community. And he ran this high-powered offense, put Baylor on the map. They were so exciting. It's really a sad story and a fall from grace. I don't see him recovering from this, certainly not at a major level.